Hi, this is Miss Cindy from the Crown Point Community Library, and today I'm going to be bringing the library into your home with a snack idea. So I don't know about you guys, but my kids are always hungry and always looking for something sweet to eat, especially in the evenings. And so um, I've been trying to come up with ideas and things that, that are easy and quick to make and something that don't you don't have to have a lot of ingredients for. So today I'm going to show you how to make a cake in a mug. And the cake is going to be baked in the microwave. It only takes a minute, but you do have to put some different ingredients together. So the recipe that I'm going to be using only calls for three ingredients. Now you can add other things to it. I mean, you can change it and you can make it however you want, but there's three basic ingredients that you'll need. You will need a box of angel food cake mix. And the angel food cake mix is important because um, I think it's because of the, the eggs that are included in the, in the cake mix. So in this cake mix, you don't need to add eggs. And so we're only gonna to need to have the cake mix and water, but we do need two types of cake mix. So I have my angel food and um, I'm gonna use a chocolate cake mix because I like chocolate. So um, that's all I need for right now. I'm gonna mix these together and then I just add water to it, put it into a cup and make it in my, my microwave. So pretty simple. Begin by putting both your cake mixes into a large bowl. And then I'm going to take a whisk and just mix these around just to get them nice and combined. At this point, my cake is ready to go. Um, Obviously this is gonna make a lot. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take and put this cake mix into, I can put it into a Ziploc bag, I can put it into some type of food storage container, but I wanna put it into something that will keep it because then um, when I'm in the mood for a treat or when my kids are in the mood for a treat, they're just going to go in, they're going to take out what they need for the cake and put it into their mug and then mix it up that way. So now this this step is means that I'm ready uh, to store it away until I'm hungry. I put my cake mixes together into this bag. So now this will be just sit in my pantry and it'll be ready for whenever somebody wants to make a cake. So there are two things that you'll need. I mentioned you'll need the cake mix and then you will need water. So we're gonna add, we're gonna take a third of a cup. You wanna make sure that you're using a measuring cup that's made for dry ingredients because this is a dry cake mix. Uh, the liquid measuring cups have the pour spout and it does make a difference which one you use. So you wanna get a third of a cup and I could just scoop it out from right inside there. Pour that into my mug. And then the next thing I'm going to need is two tablespoons of water. Uh, you can use a tablespoon that looks like this. Again, you wanna make sure that you're using the, the, the proper uh, measuring. So don't just get a spoon out of your drawer where you would usually use the like eat soup or eat cereal. You wanna have a measuring spoon because it, then it's the correct amount. Um, I also, I have a measuring a little pour container, a little small one that, that holds up to four tablespoons. And that's just easier for me to use. So I already filled that with two tablespoons of water. I pour that into my mug. Stir it around. Get nice and mixed up. Get rid of any clumps that are in there. At this point, if you wanted to add any add-ins, you could. And by add-ins, you could add things like chocolate chips, you could add um, some chopped nuts, you could add um, some coconut, you could add um, pieces of candy bar into there. You could get creative. If you're using a vanilla cake mix, then you could, uh, you could add in different flavors or other different things. Um, Whatever you, whatever you like. You could add in some confetti, some sprinkles to make like a confetti cake. All right, so you'll see I've got a really nice thick consistency. And now this is going to go into the microwave for one minute. One minute has passed and there is my cake, it's steamy hot, so you wanna be careful because the mug may get hot. The handle does not. 
Uh, so now what I'm gonna do, because well, I do like some frosting on my cake, I'm gonna show you a simple frosting recipe and then we'll see what how it tastes. So I just took powdered sugar and put it into a bowl. I used a tablespoon, because we don't need a lot, it's just a small cake. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of water to this. I just wanna get, basically I'm making a glaze. The water will melt the sugar. If you add too much water, you can add more powdered sugar. But I just wanna make it into a glaze. So you really, with one tablespoon, you really need like a teaspoon of water. And then what Drizzle that right over my cake. And now I have a frosted cake. And you can see it comes out just like a cake. So enjoy, have fun, get creative, and uh, see what you can come up with. Thank you for joining me. You have a great day. And if you need more resources or more recipes, check out the library website at crownpointlibrary.org. Very good.